Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can get some more exclusive content, you can get early access to my podcast, and you can also find out a little bit more about my scholarship funds. This one has been asked for loads in the comments, dubbed as the Golden Voice of Prague. I'm interested to give him a listen for sure. Sad. Někdy se ví, co uchystá, a že se nedají I like how he's brought this back and he's barely even singing. Je to dobrák, it's like a conversation, to like he's speaking it. And that's his daughter Charlotte. She's Very touching, isn't it? Tak častokrát, že začnu se bát, pak nesmíš to vzdát, na všechny z tvých cest, má jediná svítím ti dá. It's amazing that it's so easy for him on these higher notes and that it is so secure because obviously as the voice ages, it becomes less secure, but he's kept his voice going, which is beautiful. And you can hear his daughter, the tones between them. He's got that kind of gruffness to his tone. She's got that kind of cutting young tone. It's it's really nice, the combination. I love how he punches those consonants with their end signs. So, he's been voted the country's best male singer 41 times. Oh, I love the strings. So in this verse, or in both the verses, I love how they're kind of both treating it almost like speech. And that really is what singing is, an extension of speech. So they're making it really conversational. They're really telling the story. Now, I don't speak the language, but I'm still getting the emotion from it because of this conversational way that they're doing it and the way that they're connecting. You can see that they have a special connection, that they are father and daughter. I love to hear her in a few years' time as well. So he originally studied opera. And you... Do you often get this tone from opera singers who've moved into pop, who have really embraced the pop technique, that just sturdiness on the higher notes that you don't get from pop singers who haven't trained in such a way? And he's definitely got that. Oh, I love how they're getting into it as well. I love the strings. The arrangement is fantastic. Mm. 
tvých srdce nehasnou. Again, punching those consonants. So he brought that down for a nice, beautiful, quiet, touching moment, but used the consonants to keep it intense. Sometimes we can lose that intensity when we get quiet, but bam, he was there. See how they're doing the falls off the end of the note? This! So, instead of being like, ah, na, 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 they're not overly controlling it. As I say, it's about telling that story and getting that emotion through, and I think they're doing that very well. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I really enjoyed that. That was so fun. And you can tell the connection between the two singers was lovely. And the contrast in voice. It's an unusual contrast that we don't get to hear very often because you don't often get older singers with younger singers. But... It was really touching to watch. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.